So today's video, I'm going to be covering a little bit about Camper Mart. I want to go back to a couple of weeks ago when we shot that video, the last video I uploaded. Also, I'm going to be covering this and what's in the box. All coming up right after this. Okay, so first of all, I was just going to give you a quick update on the house before we get into the Camper Mart stuff. Um, you might remember if you follow the house build videos that I was about to have the big row of conifers taken down uh, that you can see on screen now. And some guys are coming in to sort my driveway out so that I can get deliveries up the drive again. And it was all getting really tight. And uh, as you see by this, these few clips and footage, they have done that, it's all done and they have really knocked it out of the park. It's um, much better now. And yeah, both myself and my wife, we're really pleased with the outcome. So um, great bunch of guys came and done that for me. I didn't actually do though, that fence, but I did do the lights that you can see. Um, managed to put some nice 12 volt lights down. So it's all suitable for outdoor plug and play type system. And I actually bought enough to take out the 240 volt ones that I had on the corner of the car and I've run them right round. Um, to where the new garage is going to be. So that's all done and it feels like we've got more garden. I've got to be honest, he took it all away. So yeah, another job done off the list and uh, it does look a lot better as well from both sides. So pleased with that. So we've had a meeting with our builder and I've got about seven weeks, give or take a week. Now that might sound like a lot and I should be able to do all that in that time, but I'm a busy dude. I've got a lot going on, so it isn't as long as it sounds and I really do need to get onto that now. But it's cool, we've got an idea of when we're going to be beginning this concept and uh, moving everything into place now, get the kitchen sorted. Yes, so big things on the house and we can't wait because it's been a long time coming and uh, yeah. The other thing is Camper Mart. So, last video I uploaded was the Camper Mart show video and um, for a lot of people, even though I haven't actually been hit with these questions, I got to share with you that the day I got there early, um, thanks to New Texa because they get me in early on the old VIP now and that's much appreciated because I can get in and get some shots before everybody comes in which makes my life a bit easier. But now that the channel's quite established and I've been doing this for a while, so many of you actually know me now that um, I did stop and I think I was doing a lot more chatting than I was filming this year. So for the people that have their vans outside, I can only apologize that I just didn't get to it. So um, I'm sure because I know a lot of the van owners as well like to see their vans in the videos as much as you guys at home, if you weren't at the show, you wouldn't have a clue what was really going on out there if it's not in the video. But there were a lot of really nice vans actually outside as well, which um, I attempted to get outside and I shot literally two or three vans, realized the time and thought, hey, I have got to go and continue to shoot the indoor ones and probably just write the outside off. Even though it seems to be being received well uh, on the channel, which is great, I was just a little bit uh, upset that I couldn't get around and shoot more variety. But anyway, it is what it is. It was, if, if anything, it was really nice because I'll always stop and chat to everybody. Uh, probably just got to get to manage my time a little bit better now that so many people know me. But it was really nice to chat to so many of you and the feedback you gave me on the videos and that. Um, means a lot so I had a great day I just wanted to just let people know especially if they had their vans outside as to how and why that video came about and I did the best I could with the footage I managed to shoot but as I said video seems to be received well so that's that um, last thing I want to talk about is what's in this box so I actually got sent a nice package from the Dubster Boys. 
And so thank you very much to Ryan at Dubster because he, I didn't expect this. Uh, as you can probably see, he sent me a t-shirt up there as well, which I wasn't expecting. So nice t-shirt. Um, I've got in this box, I've got some detailing uh, towels. I've got some detailing products and finishing product, high shine protector. It actually says how to say it here. <laughs> Pear Lun Schilt. That's how you say it. Beading shield. Once the wash routine is complete and the surface is contaminant free, spray Pearless Shield directly onto the paintwork. Uh, work a panel at a time, buff with a clean microfiber. Um, and it can be layered for extra protection, so that's cool. That'd be nice to try that out when I clean it up. What else have we got in here? We've got some, some stickers in here, a few stickers, and then the real deal. The dubster sauce. This is what I spotted in a few places, and I was like, whoa. Dubster sauce, ultra spicy. And, uh, it's got a pretty high heat factor on it. Now I am, uh, my guilty pleasure is I quite like that sort of thing, which is why I caught, it caught my eye. And um, I kind of uh, have been sent a bottle to test out. So can't wait to get some, uh, some nice meat on the plate and try that and uh, see what that tastes like. So you can await my uh, update on that one once I've had a chance to try it. But uh, thank you to Ryan at Dubster for sending this whole box of goodies. I really didn't expect that. I was just keen to try your magic sauce. Um, if anybody else is interested in any of their products, head over to Dubster, have a look on their website, social media platforms and so on. Um, it's pretty unique stuff they do and uh, go and see what they're about. But um, yeah, I think uh, you'll have to find out how I get on with that sauce once I've had something to put it with. Anyway, I reckon that means that we're pretty much done with this video. Uh, just a little update. You have to let me know in the comments what you think to the new fence. Is it uh, an improvement or is it a shame to see the green go? And um, also, once again, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. I'll see you real soon in the next one. Take care.